Good morning, UPBOptionMillionaires.com. It is Thursday, August 28, 2014. It's about an hour before the market's going to open for trade. And this is the futures here. We're lower by about a third of a percent. Russia is invading Ukraine for the 50th time this month, it seems. <laughs> and each time Russia denies it, and Ukraine's screaming for help. Uh, and then stock futures just kind of shrug it off. We had it two uh, Fridays ago. We have light volume in this market. The holiday weekend is coming up. So any kind of news event is going to be exaggerated. We're going to see exaggerated moves both to the downside and the upside. Uh, if you look, the same bears who are telling you to sell this dip here. Sell it. Sell it. Oh, here we go. And then we had this massive rally to record levels. They're out on Twitter again claiming they've been short right at the top and uh, to sell. So whatever, you know, it's great to see the market pulling back. It's healthy. In my opinion, we have this pullback. We get the bears out of their caves. And we get the bulls sobering up a little bit. And we get the same thing up here. Nothing more than another dip before new record stock prices. Um, let's move into some names. And I was talking about, to, well, we'll start with TLT, which is getting up. I'd love this. If we can get up to the 119.50 level here on TLT, which would put in a short-term double top, uh, I would like that again for a pullback. We've seen it throughout these Russia-Ukraine conflicts where we got bonds start, starting to rally. And then uh, when the conflict kind of gets uh, put on hold, we get TLT start to pull back a little bit. So I like that. I was talking about FEYE in my videos, especially at the, uh, the start of this week. I'm in the $28 calls. I got those on Friday at $0.76. Cents. And FEYE is seeing a nice move off the support. We had an upgrade out after the bell yesterday, and we have JP Morgan Chase, a lot of the banks getting hacked. So that's good news for FEYE, which I think is going to head back up to this gap down level at about the $40 price i think we're going to get up to 35 in the short term so i'm holding on my calls heading into the week and i might move out to next week or even september fuel i talked about this too i wrote a blog post about both of them and fuel is seeing a similar kind of recovery rally here and i think this gap is ultimately going to get filled yeah call me crazy 25 bucks which is a significant move off uh from where where it currently is it's over a 50 percent move to the upside 50 percent would get you up to 20 23 dollars so at about 60, 65% move coming for uh, fuel, rocket fuel. Just picture a little rocket there with flames bursting out of it. That's what I think is going to happen. This is one I haven't really talked about much. Uh, ESI, which has been beaten down. This is one of those education stocks. Uh, the government cracked down on, what was it, Coco? Uh, I think went bankrupt. Uh, ESI, a lot of people are betting. I think the short interest is, is something like 64% of the stock is short. So... Um, if you look at this, yeah, it looks pretty beaten down. If you go back from a longer term chart here, five years, look at the stock. I mean, it was over 100 bucks, dramatic decline here, but it looks possibly like it's stabilizing here at about the 8, 850 level. And I think if it does recover, it's going to see a 100% move to the upside. So I'm in the $9 calls that expire in September. There are uh, monthly options, there are no weekly options for this stock. Uh, I like it short term. You can see it's worked its way nicely off the bottom. Here's a, a multi-day bottom. It's moving up. And I think the stock had had over 9 bucks in the short term back up to this level that we saw, gosh, just like a week ago. Uh, let's look at Google because I like Google here. Google's dipping here pre-market. It's been selling off. I mean, just bleeding. It's like somebody gouged it and just slowly bleeding. I hate to put that kind of... Uh, context in with the stock but nonetheless you can see it's at support and it was a similar kind of pattern we saw with Amazon recently where it was at 315 sitting at support and uh, two days later went to 330 so I like the support level I think Google might this morning come back to 580 at the open but uh, I think we're gonna see the bounce back up and I think ultimately over the long haul Google's gonna make new record levels and I think it's gonna see a sharp rally at some point could it be today tomorrow the next day maybe next week and I'm going to try and be in them because I know when that move happens, uh, 10 contracts at 25 cents are going to be worth, you know, they're at two, that'll cost you 250. You're going to be good to like $5,000 or something like that. So I'm, I'm going to have skin in the game because I know Google at some point is going to see a nice rally. We have Apple hitting new record levels. Uh, we have Amazon. As you can see, it's a longer term. This looks very similar to that Amazon chart. Of course, if we break below, I, yeah, I would just be waiting until we get to the 550 level. I see a lot of people talking about, yeah, as well, if you draw a trend line across here, you can get a 570 figure, but I'm leaning more towards 550 if we get down there. And uh, the longer term price pattern for uh, Google here was a nice cup and handle pattern. So it would it would just be appropriate that it starts to rally here. We got the nice cup, handle, new record levels coming for Google. Uh, Whole Foods, I've been talking about Whole Foods quite a bit. I was in the calls last week. I got some calls. The $38 strike on Thursday before the TFM, fresh market, 
earnings and Whole Foods went up to three uh, thirty eight seventy seventy five on Friday. And it's been consolidating before yesterday, making a really sharp move over the $40 level. Now, just a couple days ago, uh, two weeks ago, it was mired at lows here, $37.75. So it's been doing very nice. I love Whole Foods, and I've been talking about this in my videos for a couple weeks. This isn't something I talked about just today after it's up 3% yesterday. No, I've been talking about this one for a couple weeks, how it's at the $37.50 support, and how it's going to come up and fill this gap here at the $48 level. So that's Whole Foods. How about Sears Holdings, which has come back pretty much to the earnings report uh, levels before it fell about 7%. You see it's come back. Now we're still mired in this channel. Once we break above this level for Sears Holdings, and I joked around somebody, uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you would see it. I said Sears Holdings is one bankruptcy away from 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah, sarcasm. That's not really funny. I try and crack a joke here and there. But nonetheless, we break through this long-term line. I've talked about this in the past, so I'll, I'll just be brief with it. I think we're going to head back up to 50, 60, 70. It's going to be a very impressive run. So let's look at the S&P 500. It's a five-year weekly chart. Look at the trend. Um, every single dip has been bought. The trend remains to the upside. So in my opinion, I'll be buying the calls and going long because it's a, the... The bullish continuation patterns are a lot better than than trying to trade for downside in a market that seemingly uh, it's just so resilient. And I think we saw it uh, a couple weeks ago when we had the Ukraine, uh, what were they firing on some sort of Russian convoy and stocks fell. That was a Friday. They came all the way back. Uh, we've seen it. Gosh, just it's almost every every time we pull back, it, the market is just so resilient. So so to me, why frustrate yourself and try and time for something that yeah will happen but history isn't on your side over the last five years every dip has been bought so that's my opinion you will be here so i like google calls i'm in the feye calls i love fuel i think fuel could see significant upside from here i still like whole foods starbucks i was in the 78 dollar calls to come into the week i i sold for a nice 100 percent profit uh, on starbucks and i like this stock back to 80 dollars in the short term but i'm not in the calls back in the calls just yet. I might wait a little bit. Maybe we'll get a little bit more of a dip. All right. I'll see you in the chat room at optionmillionaires.com. Hope you have a great trading session, a happy uh, long holiday weekend, a happy Labor Day, and uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye.